Hey guys, so I know I've been like super MIA, but I've been super busy and I don't know, I guess I just kind of got out of the routine of doing YouTube and I had a hard time getting back into it. So um, I have like attempted to film a few times, but I just ended up like hating the footage or the lighting was terrible or whatever. It just ended up like looking like shit. So um, I wanted to make sure that I had like some decent stuff to put up for you guys. I just filmed my foundation routine footage better be good, I swear to god. But anyway, this look was just kind of like freeform. My my best looks always happen that way, like when I just sit down with a bunch of stuff that I haven't used before and I just go for it. So I love it. I really love how this turned out. I used the um, Melt Rust Stack, some new products from Tarte and Black Moon, and um, the new Jeffree Star highlighter. So if you want to see how I got this look, stay tuned. It's gonna start playing in like two seconds. Ready? Too. I hope that the fan isn't like super loud because it's really really hot right now and I have a feeling the AC would be louder so I'm kind of hoping that, that doesn't mess up the audio. I might turn it off in a little bit. Alright so I already did my I just filmed my foundation routine so I already did my base so I'm just gonna kind of like do the rest of it like I haven't done blush and highlight but I already have like foundation and bronzer and contour on um, so I'm just gonna get well and brows so I'm just gonna like get started on my eyes. When I was at Fame Expo a little while ago, I got the uh, new Melt Rust Stack. <laughs> and it's amazing. Like when I saw pictures of it, I was like, yes, I need that. Because like, I mean, I love all of the stacks, but like this just spoke to me. It's like this mustard color. Wait, hold on, where is it? This one, what is this called? Rubbish is like, I don't know why people, like people are afraid of colors like this a lot of the time. Like these like baby puke colors. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, is it chickadee? Makeup to geek chickadee? Like, people are really always afraid of them and they're like, I live for them. Like, they're amazing. They look so good and they just like warm up the eye. Anyway, this is gonna go all over my face. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go in with Antique, this like peachy color. It's um, kind of similar to like peach smoothie. It's a little bit darker, I think. I don't have peach smoothie here to compare, but that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna start off with this Makeup Weapons brush. It's the, it's number 1.6. Um, and it's just a, it's just like a fluffy crease, crease brush. I'm just gonna kinda like go in, man. Like already, uh, I haven't used this one yet. This is badass. The melt shadows are amazing, honestly. So I'm gonna blow this color out a lot because I'm gonna kind of like, I wanna go in with all of the colors and I wanna make sure that this doesn't get lost. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna blow it out so that I have enough room to like blend into the other colors without losing this one. This brush is really nice, it's super fluffy as well. Actually, I love all of these brushes by Makeup Weapons. They're amazing. I'm gonna go in with this um, new Morphe brush. It's the E17. Uh, E17, that means that it's from the Elite collection, right? I don't actually know, but these brushes are amazing. I love them so much. Like they're so soft and incredible and they feel like such good quality. I highly recommend them. Anyway, this is the E17. So I'm gonna go back into Antique um, and I'm gonna kind of like just blow out my lower lash line. And same kind of thing, like I want to blend into the other color so I'm blowing it out. <sighs> this mustard color is just everything to me, like absolutely everything. So I'm gonna go in, don't use that same brush. I'm gonna go in with that same makeup weapons brush, the 1.6, but I'm gonna keep it like more centralized to the crease, like start building up the crease color. Again, trying not to lose antique. I kinda wanna put this on my lid too, but I also want, I kinda wanna like 
really make the lid dark. I don't, I can't decide. We'll see what happens. Oh. I'm gonna use the that um, Morphe brush, the 17, and just like focus it a little bit more. Try to build it up so you really see that color. like mustard baby puke like they're amazing why are they the best colors they really are i encourage everyone to step outside their comfort zone and use a baby puke color on their eye just saying um the great thing about using a color like rubbish and antique together is that like if you just use rubbish i understand that like it can be kind of scary it can kind of look like really creepy or sick or something because it's yellow um, but when you add this color in it really just like it brightens it this kind of color these peaches really really just brighten up the skin so that you don't end up looking like dead you know what I mean so if you're like kind of nervous about using this definitely use them together I'm gonna go in with that Morphe brush and I'm gonna blow out my lower lash line with it I might have to go back in um, antique And I always say like, I have a lot of room to work with and I really like to blow out my shadow, but if you don't, like, you don't have to do it. You can use smaller brushes and keep it close to the lash line. I just like to cover up my eye bag. <laughs> I feel like it makes my dark circles like less noticeable. I'm gonna use the Morphe E18 brush, which is like kind of the same brush, but it's a little bit smaller and uh, take a little bit more of antique and just like focus it on the inner part of my eye. I'll lighten that up a little bit. Shh, please, kids outside. So I always keep the brush that I set my under eyes with around because it has residual powder on it. And if I get any fallout or anything, I'll just use it to like wipe it away. If you're like really afraid of fallout, another good thing to do is to bake underneath your eyes while you do your eye makeup because then it catches all of the fallout and you can just dust it all away. Now I'm gonna go in with rust and I'm gonna cover my lid with this and then start to blend it into my crease. And for that, I'm going to use I'm gonna use the Morphe E14 brush. Um, it's a little bit more dense and a little flatter. You can see that. Do you know what I mean? So you can cover the lid, but it's really great for like blending into the crease. I'm gonna start by covering the lid. I'm just gonna like use the tip of the brush to buff into the crease. And I just fucked up. Sorry the light keeps changing, you guys know. Oh my god, I like I ordered my ring light and then uh, it um it came but the bulb was broken and I just like had to get them to reimburse me for that because it's bullshit and I haven't gotten around to um, ordering in, like a new another one because every single time I try to find the one that it like is supposed to go with that light setup, it's out of stock. So I'm working on it. Um, so I'm still working with natural light, which is why the light is changing so much. Irritating. I'm gonna go back in with uh, rubbish and just kind of like blend that crease out a little bit. Oh, and the uh, Makeup Weapons 1.6. It always helps to tap back into a lighter color when you're blending or the color that you used before. Now I'm gonna go back into antique and just do kind of the same thing, like I'll warm this area up a little bit more. Blow it out. Alright, I'm gonna go in with rust again and I'm gonna use the E the E18 brush and oh do I wanna use the E18? Just kidding. Um, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the Real Techniques shading brush to I guess I'm gonna just go all along my lash line, but I'm gonna keep it a little bit tighter. Let me get some fallout here. Okay, so I'm obsessed with this look the way it like the way it is, but 
I also at Fame, when I was at Fame, I got the new Colored Rain shadows, which are fucking insane. They're so good. They're amazing. Like when I swatched them, they are amazing. I'm just gonna swatch this one for you because it's literally perfect. These are all of that. Well, these are the ones that, I don't know if these are just all of the new ones or these are the ones that I have. Um, and they're incredible. They are incredible. The quality of these shadows are amazing. Like I seriously, like this color, kidding me so what I'm gonna do and I'm kind of torn because I kind of want to keep this warm I either want to go in with this gold shade which is unbelievable or this blue shade these two are like when you swatch them like you just can't you won't believe it you will not believe it when you swatch them they're amazing so I'm leaning towards this one have I used that yet I've swatched it, but I don't know if I've used it. You know what, I'm gonna go with this gold because it was the first one I ever swatched and I was blown away. So I feel like it's meant to be. All right, so this gold is called Superstar and I'm gonna swatch it for you on the back of my hand before I put it on my eyes just cause like it's literally perfect. Can you see that? I never know. Cause like you guys know I film on my phone. So like I don't have a monitor or anything. I can't like tell what you see. It's so good. So I'm gonna put that in the center of my lid, but like just right in the center. Cause I don't, I obviously like have this amazing melt rust stack all over my eyes and I don't want to get rid of it. So, all right. So I'm going to take my E Sigma 54 brush and I'm going to spritz it with a little bit of um, setting spray. And I'm going to take that shade, whatever the fuck it's called, Superstar, and place it in the center of my lid, like the very center of my lid. Like, I just want it in the center, and I'm gonna kind of blend it. I want it to look like, you know what I mean? Like it's opening my eye up. It just adds that extra dimension to the look. And when you do this, you just wanna make sure that you just like tap it around so that it's not just like a big chunk of gold in the center. I really wanna go in with the new Tarte Clay Pot liners, the colored ones, but I think I'm gonna finish the rest of my face like highlight and everything before I do that because it's really impossible to like put dots down because you never know how far they're gonna go. Like they might end up on my cheekbone and then I highlight and I ruin them. So I'm gonna highlight first. So for blush, I'm going to take one of these, I think I'm gonna take this color right here. I don't know what it's called. It's from uh, Galani Cosmetics. They have these like cheek and face duo palettes um, of highlighter, bronzer, and blush. And uh, I took all of mine out and just put them in a palette. So I don't know which one this is, but I'm sure you can find it if you go on the website and check it out. Um, but it's just, it's like a really, really nice peach. It's got kind of a shimmer to it, but not like way too much. It's kind of like a peach gold. So I'm gonna use that as a blush. And to apply that, I'm going to use the Makeup Weapons 1.2 brush. This is my, well, you can see it's dirty, <laughs> but this is my favorite blush brush now. It would make a really good contour brush too, I think, but I like it for blush. Perfect. And you know what? I'm actually, I'm actually gonna mix, I'm not actually gonna go over that with this gold shade right here. I don't, I also don't know what that's called, but it's like a, a really, really, it's like a really nice gold shimmer. I think it's supposed to be a highlighter. It's too dark for me to use as a highlighter, so I'm gonna do it over my blush. Just to kind of warm it up. Make it a little less pink and a little more warm. I'm actually, you know what? I'm actually gonna go over, I already have bronzer on, but it was a matte bronzer, so I'm actually gonna go in with this color right here, which is kind of a warm, like it's, it could be a blush or a bronzer. Um, and I'm gonna go over my bronzer with that. And I'm for that, I'm going to use the Dose of Colors powder, powder blush brush. I just, like, I, I just wanna glow today, you know? I'm not even going anywhere after this. It's so depressing. Yes. So I don't know if you guys can see much of a difference, but it just like adds, it just kind of like ties in that peach and gold 
you know, adds a little more glow. Now, to highlight my new, my like literal obsession. I'm done, like I'm done looking for highlighters because I found my perfect highlighter. If you're a fair girl and you were super excited when Becca Pearl came out and you were like, yes, this is gonna be my highlighter for the rest of my life and then you got it and you were kind of disappointed because I was, this is what you need. Fucking open it. The new Jeffree Star Skin Frost in Ice Cold. You gotta get it. If you don't have it, you gotta get it. I'm telling you right now. It is literal perfection. Like, look at how big this is. Anyway, since I got it, it's all I've used. Like, it's, I use it every single day to highlight, so. Oh, it's so good. So to highlight, I'm going to use the Dose of Color Setting Powder, Setting Powder Brush. I think I talked about in another video, but I actually don't know. This is what I've been using to highlight. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna use the pencil brush by Dose of Colors and the same Jeffree Star highlight to do like my nose and stuff. I always go really hard on my Cupid's bow when I highlight because I overline my top lip. So a little bit of it gets like covered up. So just relax. Okay, I know it's lit right now. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Clay Pot Liner. I've said that like eight times because it's difficult to say. Uh, and this is the color Unicorn Kisses. It's like a really pretty like Sky or Robin's Egg Blue. I love it. Um, and I'm gonna, I actually don't know. I have no plans. I think I'm gonna do dots. Like I'm feeling dots. I like dots, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the Smith brush. It's the 202. It's really, really tiny. It's like a little point liner brush. It's amazing. We're just, there's no method to this madness. I'm just gonna like pop some dots. I feel like the blue will really complement the orange. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pop it on. I highly suggest throwing some dots on your face every once in a while. So I'm gonna go back in with the colored rain shadows and I'm like torn between the silver and this like teal color. What do you think? Like I wanna go for the teal, but I feel like it's a little bit too dark. So maybe I'll mix them. I'm going to go in with the teal color first and then go over it with the silver. That's a really good idea. Okay, so the teal color is called Malibu. It's amazing. And I'm gonna use my uh, Real Techniques smudge brush, which might seem like an odd choice. Because it is. <laughs> yeah, see I love that, but it's too dark. So now I'm gonna go over top with flashing lights, which is such a good name. Does that look cool? I can't tell. The lighting in here is really weird right now. I feel like it looks cool, right? It like kind of looks exactly like the dot color. All right, so I went in with the Blinking Beauté lashes. I think it's Beauté, it could be Beaut, I don't know. Blinking Beauté lashes in number three, which are perfection. They literally look good with everything. So for lips, uh, I also at Fame, I got the Blue Moon um, liquid lipsticks. They're like the metallic liquid lipsticks that are like black with um, a reflect. This is the one that has like the blue reflect in it. Um, and it's in, it's called Sorrow. So the reason that this one stood out to me so much is because Kylie Jenner's like liquid lip, the black and blue like liquid lip. I, has that come out yet or is it still just like, 
you know, like is she teasing it to people? I don't even know, I don't really follow her stuff, but the color is amazing and I love the formula. So I think it's perfect with these like little, you know, dots of blue to add this in. I really wanted to do a dark lip. So whenever I do like almost black lip, I line my lips with black, <laughs> obviously. It gave me like 20 minutes. There we go. <laughs> I got it open, but I broke it. Damn it. Ooh, it sharpens nicely. Okay. So this is the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner in very black. So this is what I'm gonna use to line my lips. Be careful because it's black. Oh shit, this is really soft. I don't know if this was a good idea. So I would um, recommend, this looks insane. I'm gonna put the lip on before I talk about that. Mmm, smells like frosting. Okay, just so you know, that um, LA Girl gel liner was a really bad idea to line my lips with. It's bleeding all over the place, so I got some cleaning up to do. So I'm gonna use my e.l.f. brush. I don't even know what this is, but it's just like a little flat e.l.f. brush. It's what I use to clean up my brows. And I'm gonna go in with some concealer and clean up these edges. This is amazing. All right guys, this is the finished look. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any suggestions for future videos, leave them down below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe because it's going to be full fledged in a minute. Okay. It's like, if I just left it like this, I would kind of look sick, but like in a good way. You know what I mean? Yeah, I understand. Oh, no, I dropped it. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I feel like they can hear me. I kind of don't want to darken it any more than that. For star. Oh! What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my E6. Yep. I'm down with that. Ooh. I feel amazing. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Clay Pop liner. Oh, that's so hard to say. I didn't mean to actually like that. Okay. <sighs> okay. The blinking blue. <laughs> If you don't care, then, well, I don't know why you're here, <laughs> right? Okay, I, my brother's gonna be home like any minute, so I have to like stop. So he's gonna come in here and be like, no one is me, no one is me, blah, blah, blah. Okay, please, please be quiet outside, like I'm trying to get in here. All right guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.